Subscribe to my channel Visualizing Max and Science with Rebecca and hit the bell button so that you do not miss any further updates from my channel. Hello friends, welcome back to Visualizing Max and Science with Rebecca. Often, Max is considered to be a nightmare to many of us. This could be because of lack of concepts or teaching methodology or any other things. However, if you ask me, I would tell you that the easiest and the most scoring subject among all is Max. And the reason is very simple. You won't have any spelling mistakes. And if your answer is right, then it is right. There's no other answer to it. So without wasting much time, let us begin our class today. Today, we will be dealing with trigonometry. But before we learn the depth of trigonometry, it is very important for us to learn the Pythagoras theorem. So let us focus on Pythagoras theorem today. There are four things that you should remember while learning about Pythagoras theorem. Firstly, Pythagoras theorem works only and only on a right angle triangle. It does not support with any other triangle. So only if your triangle is right angled, the trigonometry works and the Pythagoras theorem works. Secondly, every right angle triangle has a perpendicular, base and hypotenuse. Thirdly, hypotenuse is considered to be the longest side of a right angled triangle. And it is always opposite to 90 degree. That is your fourth point. So remember these four takeaways. Firstly, Pythagoras theorem works only and only on a right angle triangle. Every right angle triangle has a perpendicular, a base and a hypotenuse. Thirdly, hypotenuse is the longest side. And fourthly, Hypotenuse is always opposite to your 90 degree. Now, if I give you a sum and I do not mark the 90 degree, then how do you know which is the hypotenuse? Simple. I told you that it is the longest side. Take the biggest number and put it on the hypotenuse. Opposite to it will be the 90 degree. Simple as that. Anyways, let us get into the problem. For that, you should first learn your formula. The Pythagoras theorem works on h square is equal to p square plus b square or h is equal to root of p square plus b square. I can see some of you wondering. It's written in my textbook ac square is equal to ab square plus bc square. Well, your textbook is right. You know why? because they considered the triangle as ABC. So AC square is equal to AB square plus BC square. But triangles don't just exist as A, B or C. It can be DEF, it can be PQR, it can be anything. So it's better for you to re remember it as hypotenuse square is equal to the sum of perpendicular square plus base square. Now let us solve a simple problem. Let us consider this sum. Here the perpendicular is 3 and the base is 4. You need to calculate the hypotenuse which is x. So let us substitute. So x square is equal to 3 square plus 4 square. x square is equal to 9 plus 16. x square is equal to 25. x is equal to root of 25 which is 5. So in other words the value of x is 5. Now this was a pretty easy sum. Now let us substitute for the hypotenuse. And calculate the perpendicular. Okay. 
Well, in this case, they have given you the hypotenuse. You need to calculate the perpendicular, which is y, and the base is given as 5. So you have 13 square equals perpendicular square plus 5 square. In other words, perpendicular square is equal to 13 square minus 5 square. That is perpendicular square is equal to root of 169 minus 25. That is root of 144. That means your perpendicular is 12. Now the same thing can be applied even when the base is given and the or you have to calculate the base the perpendicular and the hypotenuse is given. So we have 10 square equals 8 square plus z square. So z square is equal to 10 square minus 8 square. That is 100 minus 64. That is equal to 36. So z square is equal to 36. So z is going to be root of 36 which is 6. So your z value is 6. Wasn't that simple? If you're clear with your concept, max can be your friend. And in the following video, we will be learning trigonometry. So do subscribe to my channel so that you do not miss any updates and you will enjoy doing mathematics this academic year. Until we see you next time, this is Junsi Rebecca signing off. You can also follow me on Facebook, Instagram and you can mail me at reachrebecca88 at gmail.com. The details are given below.